All right, so a while ago, I decided to make a Jacob's Ladder thing out of an old microwave oven transformer, and it worked pretty good. The sparks were cool, and if I hold it like this, it would make a really big electrical fire thing. I don't know, but it looked pretty cool. Um, and that's because I was getting a lot of voltage out of it. So I pulled out all the coil so I could wire my own. And then I put the bottom coil back in and wrapped a three-wire, I don't know, thick wire around it. Just like a, the biggest one that I could find. And I'm, I made my own. I got like three wraps. So it should generate a lot of amps and very few volts. And here is the finished product with the cord attached so that I could plug it into the wall and use it. Plug it in, that's the on switch, and you're ready to melt. So small nails like this melt almost instantly. <coughs> they melt very fast, they can't handle the amps. So I switched from a small nail to a larger screw. And this took a longer time to melt, but it still melted eventually. They melt because of all the current flowing through and the friction of all those electrons. So I get 2 volts out of this transformer, and I did some calculations, and supposedly I should be getting around 1200 amps. But I'd wager it's only about six or 700. Galvanized steel nails put on a light show. This is because of the zinc coating that's supposed to prevent rusting. So I switched from a, a small screw to a big bolt. This bolt will never actually melt because it can actually handle the amps. But it is cool to burn stuff on it like wood. I burned this dowel clean in half with just the heat. Paper towel lights on fire immediately. <sighs> Solder on its own melts instantly as well. So I'll finish off by lighting off a really big galvanized bolt. Puts on quite a show. Spraying it with water makes a neat sound, too. And when I turn off the power, I can do some crappy blacksmithing and see what I can make with it. <laughs> but it's not very useful, I can't really do anything with it besides hit it. It's still hot as you can hear when I spray it with more water. And that's pretty much it, thanks for watching. I definitely recommend making your own because it's a lot of fun.